So se man, seven, seven dollars? Yes, All right. There's two fives. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, I picked up what you had. There's okay. five there. Thank you so much. Thank you. I see your sister all the time. Oh. Because one of my granddaughters is Cash's age and we're going milk trips oh. together. Oh. And Fifty cents each on those. Yep, yep. Okay, let's do it. There you ah, are. Great. Thank you. Uh huh. Awesome. Yeah, I brought those for my nephews, and then I found <laughs> out they already had them. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
<laughs> right. Yeah. So, you said 80 bucks? 80 bucks. All right, 80 bucks. 80. All right, sir. Appreciate it, man. See you, man. Okay, folks, so these are all of the pickups from the past two weeks, minus two consoles. I did go ahead and flip the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo that you saw earlier in the episode. Um, I got this, the Nintendo for around $25, bundled it with some games, flipped it for $100, uh, flipped that locally, and then the Super Nintendo I bundled with a copy of Super Mario World and Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi and sold it for 70 um, But this is everything that I've got for the past two weeks. So we'll start up here at the top left. Picked up this Nerf gun from Goodwill for 99 cents. It's the Nerf Zombie Strike Clampdown. These retail for around $16 to $18 on eBay. Uh, so easy flip there. It's really light. It'll be cheap to ship. Then we got the Wii U. I finally got a Wii U in my collection. Now, I got this from the pawn shop for 40 bucks with my 10% off. Came out of $38.88 after tax. And the reason that it was so cheap was uh, the screen on the gamepad is cracked. Now, the part for that on eBay is less than 20 bucks for a new screen and everything. So, I'll be doing a, an episode, a video on replacing that and then testing everything, make sure everything works. And then I get to add a Wii U console to my collection. Um, at the yard sales today, picked up these two classic TV series Batman figures uh, for 50 cents each. These retail on eBay for around $10 each. So nice find there. Uh, from last week's pickups, uh, we got Guitar Hero Van Halen. That's a rather uncommon Guitar Hero game. Um, it could still fetch anywhere between $25 to $30. Um, so be on the lookout for, for Van Halen for PS2. Uh, then we got this little stack. Freaky Flyers down there at the bottom. I found that at the pawn shop today for uh, $2.99. I did not have it. It was complete and in really good condition. So I went ahead and snatched that up. God of War, Battlefront, 007, Ultimate Alliance, and Need for Speed Carbon. They were all in fantastic condition. They were all complete. They're all really good titles. And they will bundle very well with a PlayStation 2 once I find one later on in the year. Um, I got all of those for a dollar each at a yard sale today. So five bucks on those. Then we got the stack of PS3 games from last week. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator, Dragon's Crown, Nier, and Dragon Age 2, the Bioware Signature Edition. I'm not sure if that game, the Dragon Age 2, was in last week's episode. It possibly was. I can't remember. I threw it in anyway in case it wasn't. Um, then the top three PS3 games, I, I got those today from the pawn shop. Uh... Also picked up Detroit Human, Detroit Become Human. I uh, heard a lot of really good things about it. So when I found it at the pawn shop for ten bucks, went ahead and picked it up. The Sony M430 micro cassette quarter. I found this for a quarter today at the yard sale. These retail for around thirty-five to forty dollars on eBay. It's in really good condition. Everything has been tested. It works flawlessly, and so that is already listed. That's a good flip right there. 
Uh, also found a copy of Wii Sports Resort. And then the big pickup for the past two weeks was all this retro goodness right here. So I've got them separated in what I've already got and what I'm going to be adding to the collection. So this side is what I already have. 1943 Mach Rider, Dr. Mario, TMNT, Double Dragon, Tiger Healy, Mario 3, Mario 2. Also already have Killer Instinct, but this is a condition upgrade for the uh, copy that I already have. Um, these Super Nintendo games I already have. So we've got A Link to the Past, Toy Story, Mario All-Stars Player's Choice Edition, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart, uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, really bad label there, but still a fun game, and I can bundle that with the system. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mario Paint, and then that's it for the uh, duplicates. It also came with these four, uh, three Game Boy Colors and a Game Boy Advance. Now, the purple Game Boy Color and the Indigo Game Boy Advance are both missing their battery covers. However, they both work. Uh, the teal Game Boy Color um, has its battery cover and it works perfectly. The green Game Boy Color has its battery cover. However, the speaker does not work on it. So that might be a repair episode on that one. Or I might just flip it and go ahead and sell it for parts. Uh, then this side of the games right here, uh, most of these are already for sale, but I'll tell you what I get to keep. So I did not have Gotcha, that's going into the collection. Robocop is going into the collection and Karnov. Also going into the collection is Arrow the Acrobat, Phantom 2040, uh, the Great Circus Mystery with Mickey Mouse, Judge Dredd, NCAA Football, Scooby-Doo Mystery, and the best one of the bunch is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I found this last year. The condition of the label was horrible. So I went ahead and sold it, got rid of it, flipped it, made a, made a little bit of money. And now I finally get to add a nice clean copy to my collection. Now, I sell everything Pokemon. I don't keep anything Pokemon related uh, because Pokemon sells very, very well. So all of these are already listed except for Trading Card Game. I haven't listed that one yet. Uh, but I listed all uh, the rest of the Pokemon games and Pokemon Crystal and the Pikachu Edition have already sold. Um, but they are all authentic. I have already replaced all the save batteries in them. And so, easy flips there. And then we got some random Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy, original Game Boy games. We got Super Mario Land 2, The Lion King, Chase HQ, Wario Land 4, Madden 2003, Fairly Odd Parents Enter the Cliff, Rugrats Go Wild, Hot Wheels, uh, Velocity, and Nickelodeon Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Also, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, NFL Blitz 2001, and NASCAR Challenge. But I picked up all of the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boys, uh, Game Boy games, all of that for 80 bucks today. Fantastic find. The guy actually hit me up back in December. Uh, I place ads in all of my Swap and Shop pages on Facebook, local Swap and Shop pages, that I buy old video games. He hit me up in December with a bunch of pictures and uh, I made him an offer and he said, I'll get back with you. Four months later, he finally got back with me, said, hey, is your offer still good? I said, yeah. He said, well, come and get them. So I went and got them and it was a fantastic, fantastic deal. So it never hurts uh, to, you know, give people your name and number because every once in a while they might get back in touch with you. And that's exactly what happened today. And one more thing, I almost forgot. I got a package in today. So I got this for $5.75 off of eBay. Uh, the seller had this very, very much underpriced because this particular item can sell anywhere between $25 to $30. And that is the strategy guide for Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Um, I did not search 
on eBay Silent Hill Shattered Memories Strategy Guide. I just searched Silent Hill and then lowest price items and happened to come across this and it was way underpriced. He had it listed for $3 plus $2.75 shipping as a buy it now. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, buy. Uh, the last couple of copies of this strategy guide have sold, like I said, between 25 to 30 bucks. And uh, so that was a fantastic find there. Um, I am a huge Silent Hill fan, so I think I'll just be keeping this. But if I ever decide that I do want to get rid of it, at least I know I can make some money on it. So folks, there you have it. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.